Hey, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. Today I want to talk to you about styling our bold and italic font styles a little further. So I tend to not really use the regular like bold and italic features. Um, I just don't think they stand out enough. So I like to either accentuate them more with like a color change, or sometimes I like to just totally change it to some, I, I, and create like a new um, textile on my site. So I'll show you how this works. Um, okay, so there's a few ways here we can do it. We can apply it to the entire site, to a single block, to a single section. Let's, so let's start with the bold. So this is gonna apply the styling to the whole site. So you can see it applies to all of these instances of bolded font. Um, okay, so a lot of times I'll just, you know, you can just change the color. I do that a lot. Um, but if you want this to be like a totally new style of text, you can change everything that you want here. I've only shown, you know, a few styles. So I've changed the color and the letter spacing and the text transform. I've made it uppercase. Um, down toward the bottom of this post, you'll see I've thrown out a few other ideas you can put in here. You could change the font family, the font weight, font size, text decoration. That's where you could add like an underline. So just know I'm only showing you a few options, but you can add anything you want in, you know, inside these brackets. Just add it in. Um, or take away anything. So that's it, super simple for the whole site. Next is, if you wanna apply it only to one block, I do this a lot, like I'll do this, I'll apply it to a block or a section, which I'll show you next. Just if I wanna, you know, really call out something maybe like in the hero or in a certain section, but I don't want it to like take over the styling of the whole site. So next, I always, once again, I'll tell you, definitely get this fine Squarespace IDs Google extension. It saves you so much time. Oops, meant to click the block. So let's copy over this block ID and you'll see it only changed it in that block. So nowhere else. So similarly, we can do that with this section. So let's say I want it to change it in this whole bottom section. I make sure to copy that section ID. And there you go, only applies to the single section. So we can do something really similar. That's the bolding. Again, remember you can add whatever styling you want inside the brackets. Um, similar stuff with italics. So I personally am like not a huge italics fan. I don't really use them that often, maybe with like quotes and stuff. But for that reason, I like to use them as a totally different style. Um, on my site. So let me just set this up, get rid of the bold. Okay, so now we have all these italics on our site. First, just like the bold, we can set it up to where it applies for the whole site. So, you know, let's say we just want to change the color. We can do, so let's go back to that list of styles I have here. We could change like the font weight. We wanted to do that. Of course, it's not applying. There we go. Um, you just play around with it. It might already be on that weight that I set. So you can, you know, depending on the font, it has certain weights. So you can play around with the weight. Um, yeah, so as you see, that applies to everything, all of your italic styles. I'm just gonna go through these quickly. It's exactly like the bolding. You can just target one block. Um, it looks like I'm missing something here. Okay, I realized I was missing this bracket. Um, always a lot of brackets floating around. I'll make sure that's fixed in the post. But um, yeah, so targets just that one block. Um, again, similarly, we can do that with just a section. I have a feeling I'm missing that opening again, which is fine. So section ID, throw in that bracket that I'm missing. And you can see it's only applying to this section that I chose. So just like the bolding, one thing I like to do a lot with italics is, again, I don't like really like the italic styling. So I will style it however I want. And then you can actually put in, if my paste would work, what is happening? Sorry. You can actually put in, excuse the crazy formatting here. You can put in font style normal 
and you can see that takes the italics out of it because again i'm just not personally a really big fan of italics so i'd like to just use this as another font style it's basically like hey anything that i've said is italics make it look this way and it just gives you another option on your site okay last cool thing i do want to show you so that's all super fun um this is one of my favorite things i like to do i do this again with italics a lot is telling it to appear in this like rounded pill background type thing you can of course you know change the background change the color of the font like anything else any other css you can change anything you can change the font size you can change the weight you can change the whatever um all the padding here sometimes i like to make it a little bit bigger border radius. So I, you know, I use this pill shape a lot, but like on this site, I'm using a lot of squares, a lot of hard edges. So I could just take the border radius off, but I like to use this kind of as a, I oftentimes put it right above like an H2 or something as like a little call, like a tiny little, um, like subject of the area or just a little call out. So, um, a super fun way to use this. I think that's it. So super simple. You can do the same thing with the bold and that I just showed you instead of with the italics. Um, it's awesome. Hope you enjoy it.